All right, let's get into it. We have EAAs and BCAs. What is the difference? What's better? Let's talk about it. So with BCAs, these are branched chain amino acids. Branched chain amino acids are essential amino acids, but it is the particular amino acids that have this branch structure to them. You're looking at leucine, isoleucine, and valine that make up your branched chain amino acids. Now, EAAs, there are nine essential amino acids, and we already mentioned three of those are branched chain amino acids, but the other six make up the full chain of essential amino acids. These are amino acids that your body has to get from food source because it does not produce them from other proteins. Here's the difference in how I would recommend taking them. If I were getting ready to work out and I'd already had a protein meal, say two hours or less before that workout, I think BCAs are a very effective way of turning on mTOR or protein synthesis, preventing you from being catabolic or having muscle breakdown during a workout because that protein synthesis signal is gonna tell your body to continue to build new muscle uh, rather than just be breaking it down while you work out. An EAA would be highly recommended, let's say, if you're fat fasted in the morning, so I've not had a protein source before I work out, but I'm going to want to have all the essential amino acids. So not only do I have the protein synthesis signaling BCAAs, but I have the other essential amino acids that are necessary to have the building blocks of building new muscle tissue, because I'm ensuring my body has all the amino acids necessary, not only to turn on protein synthesis, but also to build new muscle tissue.